to launch Premiere, you can either locate it on the dock or through your hard drive. Navigate to Applications. You'll see the Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017 folder. And inside there, you will see the Adobe Premiere Pro application. If I double click it, it will launch. And we're presented with the new Premiere Pro project pane. So over here on the left, we have some options. We can create a new project. We can open a project that's already been created. Uh, notice in this empty area here, it says your recent work will appear here. Uh, it will show, I believe, up to 10 of your most recently saved projects up here for quick access. And it'll just be a link. You can click it, and it'll just automatically open up that project. You can create or open a new team project, which you will definitely want to check out if you have multiple people working on the same project in a later video. But for now, let's go ahead and just create a new project. I'm going to click this button. And we have the new project pane, and we have some familiar options. The first option is the name, and this just names your project, whatever you want to call it. And I'll just call this Greyhound because that's the uh, video that we're going to be working on. The next section is the location pull down. You can see that it's going to automatically put it in the users, my user, documents, uh, Adobe, Premiere Pro. Uh, it buries it in this complicated kind of uh, folder structure. Uh, but I can hit the browse button here and place it wherever I want. So for instance, I can click on my documents and I can create a new folder. And I can call this whatever I want. We'll call it uh, Greyhound because that's the project I'm working on. There it is and I can hit choose. And now you can see that it is now going to place the project in that folder that we just created. The video rendering and playback, uh, you want to keep this on the top most option. This will utilize your built-in graphics card to do all your rendering and playback. All these other options you can leave at default. They will change whenever we start adding videos in. The next tab is the scratch disks tab. Uh, the default is same as project, so that means that anything that we import, uh, any preview files that we create when we're rendering, uh, any captured video, uh, anything like that, is going to automatically put it inside the same folder as our project, which is pretty much what you want to do. The next tab is the ingest settings tab. Anytime you import from a card or uh, from the hard drive of the computer, Premiere only creates a reference link to that file, meaning if you import something from your desktop and then you delete that file from your desktop, Premiere will no longer see that file and you'll have offline media. The latest version of 2017 added this ingest settings tab where if you import something from the desktop, it will copy that file from the desktop and place it in your project folder. So then when you go to delete something from the desktop either on purpose or accidentally, uh, it will not go offline. So in order to enable this option, you need to turn the ingest check mark on. And you have a couple options in here in this pull down. You can copy the files, you can transcode the files, you can create proxies, or you can copy and create proxies. Go ahead and leave it on copy. And Primary destination, this is really important. You want to make sure that this is same as project. Okay, so now that we have our project settings created, let's go ahead and hit OK. And now we're launched into Premiere Pro.